Hello, Year 7. So before we start today's activity, please make sure you um, copy and paste the link on this slide and complete your retrieval quiz. It'll only take you a few minutes and then you can continue with your session. Okay, so what we'd like you to do first of all is I'd like you to have a little look at the grid and I'd like you to think of some different synonyms for each of the key terms which are in the purple column. So I've already got you started on a, uh, um, just a couple of them already um, and I want you to think about those subtle differences between those synonyms and how we can develop your vocabulary. I'm going to give you between about three to five minutes, so um, have a look on your... Um, sheet, your uh, knowledge retrieval sheet for some information. However, if you've also got a thesaurus or you can go online, you'll also get a variety of um, vocabulary there. Um, so off you go. Okay, year seven. So here we've got some um, synonyms for the words that are in the purple column. So for red, for example, we've got crimson, scarlet, vermilion. For big, I've got sizable, significant and colossal. For dangerous, I've got menacing and ominous and treacherous. And for hot, I've got fiery, balmy and boiling. So you can add those to your lists. And those subtle differences really do make a change in your vocabulary. So thinking about your creative writing and thinking about the words that you may use in your creative writing as well. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is I would like you to read through these two examples of an opening and a closing paragraph. Um, I want you to think about what the successes are and what could be improved. So in the green um, box, you can see what a good one looks like. And in the red box, you can see what a bad one looks like. So have a little look through and then we're going to share some ideas. Off. Okay, year seven, let's have a little look at the waggle. So we can see straight away we've got a mysterious... Um, unknown opening so it's withholding that information so it hooks as a reader and um, as we move throughout so it says darkness lurks over the surface of the water an ominous predator so we've got this imagery this danger showing power over the powerless like curling talons shadows from the distant mountains claw at the oscillating waves so we've got this simile desperation to grab and control moving to the closing part of this we've got that dawn breaks over the surface of the water, an almighty saviour. So the imagery here is almost like being saved. It's like spiritual, like angelic wings, iridescent beams of light from the rising sun soothe, soothe the steady waves. So we've got this simile references to heaven, perfection and hope. We've got a clear link from the closing to the opening paragraphs. Okay, so let's have a look at this wobble. So we can see that straight away it tells the reader and it lacks detail. It was dark. The ocean was as black as a witch's cat. The mountains were enormous. The sun is hiding now. The place is as empty as a bus at midnight. So the similes and metaphors are really simple. Moving to the closing part of this, um, we've also got the paragraphs disjointed. So it says, everything had worked out in the end. So we don't know what everything was, what worked out, why it worked out. Johnny had saved the day, so it's really disjointed. It jumps and the football match had been won 5 nil. There was nothing mentioning about a football match in the first paragraph either. Um, wow, but then he woke up. It was all a dream or was it? It's really confusing ending and it doesn't mirror the opening at all. Okay, year seven. So um, today's activity is really important. Um, it's your year seven key indicator piece. So it's an assessment piece. Um, once you've completed your 45 minute task, you need to send it to your academy. Um, the emails are on the slide as well. A teacher from the English department will mark your work and provide you with feedback. So keep checking your emails as well. Once you've completed the targets, enter it into um, your school's proud day as well. So the task is you either write a description suggested by the image provided, and that's on the following slide, or you can write a story entitled The Journey. So you've got 45 minutes. I want you to spend five, 10 minutes planning your response first. Um, I want you to use setting and weather to create mood and vary your sentence structures and vocabulary. So you're using all of the skills that we've used previously. So you've also got the slides um, that you can refer back to as well, the previous lessons, so please make sure you do that. So have a little look at the um, image that's going to follow from this and then you choose which task you're going to do. Remember 45 minutes. 
please remember once you've done this you must submit it into your academy okay off you go year seven good luck Well done, Year 7. So before you submit your piece to your academy, have um, a little look through the uh, progress um, on this grid. Um, make sure you go through the skills descriptors and you need to rag rate yourself. So remember, if you've really struggled with um, a particular aspect, um, you would be read. And that's something that you really do need to bear in mind. So when you do return to um, school, you can have discuss this with your teacher to get support. However, if you're feeling that you are a little bit more confident, then you will be amber. If you still, you might still need a little bit of support. And that's, again, something that you need to consider when you do return back to um, your academy. And if you're feeling super confident, then you would be green. So I want you to have a little look through your writing and I want you to think, have you varied your sentences throughout your descriptive writing? Um, did you reflect um, the opening of your description in the closing? Have you used any ambitious vocabulary? Did you use any from your knowledge retrieval sheets? Did you use any from the bell task? Um, have you included a flashback and have you written this in past tense? Did you use the weather to create a particular atmosphere in the opening too? And have you used an extended metaphor throughout your description? So have a little look through. Um, you might have something that perhaps is missing and this is your ideal opportunity now to adapt your key indicator piece before you submit it. Um, use your time really productively. Uh, once you've submitted your key indicator piece and you get your feedback, please remember to also submit it into your academy for your proud day. Well done, Year 7.